Good morning church, hope you're good. My name's Julie from Chester Campus and I'm going to be sharing just a few thoughts with you today um, and I've been asked to share with you about a favourite verse of mine and I don't know about you but my favourite verse has come in seasons. I don't have this one overarching verse for my whole life but God speaks to me in seasons and in this season he's been talking to me about what is impossible. Um, and the verse that I want to share with you today is from Luke chapter 1, verse 37. And just to put this in, in context, this chapter here is about when the angel Gabriel is coming to Mary to tell her that she's about to have a baby, that she's pregnant, even though she's a virgin. So talk about an impossible scenario. And the verse says in the Passion Translation, not one promise from God is empty of power. Nothing is impossible with God. I'm just going to pause there for a minute just to let us sink that in. Nothing is impossible with God. Um, so I had a look of um, in the dictionary to find out what nothing means. I, I mean, I know what nothing means, but I wanted to be able to, um, to say it in a succinct way. So the dictionary says nothing means not anything, no single thing. Wow. So if nothing is impossible with God, then that, that means there is no single thing that he can't do. Wow. And then the word impossible, that means not able to occur, exist or be done. And that's a really definitive definition, isn't it? And should make faith rise up in our hearts when we face challenges um, and on our journeys. If nothing is impossible for God, well, there's nothing that we can't face. There's nothing that we can't do with him on our side. And it just really, really makes us want to rely on God. And he wants us to be in a position where we're at the end of what we can do. And we face a situation that we say, gosh, that's impossible. Well, that's amazing because that means that's miracle territory. That's where God can step in and do the impossible. When we look at circumstance and go, what's going on? There's no way I can face that. That is impossible. Well, let's praise God in those circumstances and go, I've come to the end of me, God, now it's over to you. And hopefully that will give us freedom when we're facing challenges and it will make faith rise in our hearts. And it's just a really, really exciting promise. I recently saw um, an advert for Adidas during the, the recent football tournament. And of course, other sports brands are available, but this advert caught my attention and the strap line said, impossible is nothing. So it flipped it on its head taking the nothing is impossible, but flipping it around and saying impossible is nothing. And it struck me that this is so true with our God. It says in Isaiah 55 verse 9 that his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And this implies that to God, when he does impossible, it's his nature and it's his character. To him, impossible is nothing which again means for us in our faith and our prayer life, we can come boldly with our prayers. And impossible is just a human word that we've made up because we're not God. Um, so my prayer for us today, just in closing, as, um, in closing, as we're thinking about that nothing is impossible for God, my prayer is that we can grasp hold of this concept and put it into practice in our lives and that we can come again with a fresh mindset and maybe those promises and those things that we've stopped praying for because we've just thought, you know what, that's just impossible. I pray that we come again with a fresh um, energy in our spirits and that we can pray to God again and say, do you know what, God, you are the God of the impossible and I'm bringing this to you once again and that we would engage with that and see the miraculous in our lives. So I pray that over us today, church. And um, yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you really soon.